make it absolutely short, everybody wants to put something in a category so it's easier to understand. Generally, it's been described as um, surrealism, pop surrealism mainly. Local artist Paul Flinders put on a live paint demonstration at the Hive Gallery this last week. He describes his work as intentional accidents. He moves from a thought, to filling, to color, to canvas. The end result? A piece of work that is just as surprising to him as to his viewers. This is Zion Ice, brought to you by Salt Lake City Weekly, and I'm Marty Foy. Epiphanies of the futuristic past composed in doubt-strewn hopefulness to the catawall of night. It's just the first uh, first way that I can explain it. Do you really feel like explaining your work? Oh, you know, uh, not really. I feel like the more I say, the less it can mean. Not to rely on subjectivity, but to, to let people kind of have their own understanding and connection with it, rather than forcing some kind of objective point of view on the viewer. It's um, not planning it, kind of trying to play it off the cuff, because when I, I've noticed that when I uh, plan an idea out, um, the, the overall effect at the end is that it looks like I'm trying. And, and that effort, you know, is, you can see it in the work. So if you just play it off the cuff and just do something that's more lucid and intuitive, then it tends to land on its feet. Um, sometimes, when I'm doing a, a portrait of a person, it's more, it's more about them, and it's more about personality, and it's more about this, this human being that comes through beyond what we see and what we perceive. It's more of a, an attraction to weirdness. I, I feel uh, elevated by things that are strange and absurd and um, let the imagination kind of run riot. You know, like an old po uh, Polaroid photograph, it's, the color and the background, it's kind of fuzzy and clear and there's kind of a dark space sometimes where you're, you can just kind of um, let the ima imagination run. But other times, um, the model is there to, to, uh, to help tell the story, to help um, the composition come into place, like the need for a subject to be there, a main character, if you will. So sometimes it's for the story and sometimes it's personal, portrait oriented. Is there a story today? There is a story, but I don't know how it ends. I'm on the edge of my seat. There's a feeling of like, I'm just getting warmed up when you get to the end of it because you're finally more aware of what the paint's doing and in the moment to deal with it. But it's been a good day. It's been a good day? Yeah. Uh, is it almost done? I think so.